I was thinking to make FPU 6050 integrate with ESP32 as well and the RGB LED. What I do is uh, in my code I got which is the gyro implementation which certain degree of angle it will trigger the LED on this and plus uh, 20 degree if it exceed 20 degree then it will be turned on the red LED here. Certain way that is when it moves like this sort of 20 degrees to the direction of MPU 6050 the gyro X axis then it will turn on the red LED this is my code right now we're using the X task create here and uh, task handle basically task handle which is a couple of things here RGB configuration set 25, 26, 27 GPIO what happened is the GPIO on 25 will be trigger on when it exceed a certain degrees here we have a MPU address and uh, power, temperature, raw acceleration also that is uh, but for now I'm more focused on the gyro because what that's what I'm doing so this is just an I2C multiplexer basically you have its own channel and stuff set up an 8-bit which is uh, for each, each gyro x-axis high and x-axis low basically 8-bit data for it to transfer through the I2C communication here is this is which is we configure the I2C GPIO then we can start the GP, uh, start the I2C protocol it's the right heat and acknowledge stuff going on raw gyro which is our focus here I acknowledge value then it through the some maths and uh, some calculation it will convert if it exceeds 20 degree basically it take the raw value it convert it into the degrees exit 20 degrees it will turn on the LED so I finish up configuration of the ESP32 with MPU6050 here so I'm gonna plug this in lock is printing out the gyro x axis when it exceeds the 20 degree then you turn on the red LED and stuff like that and yeah RGB red LED is turned the challenges is I have to get through the MPU 6050 data sheet and see through like uh, what's the address and uh, anything which be relevant to the gyro address and stuff. What I was thinking about is uh, maybe I might can upgrade to RGB which if it's certain certain degree like 20 to 40 degree is the red LED trigger on. if. 40 to 60 degree may, might be the G, green LED turn on and the blue LED will be 60 to 90 degree. So that's my challenges for using as well as using the free ATOS to turn on and off the LED. Watching all the source code I'll be uploaded on a Git. I'll put a link below which is my Git, GitHub uh, account. And from there you can access all the code which is uh, related to MPU 6050. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys guys can contribute more i have created a paypal account which you can you can support me through my paypal as well thanks for watching for this video see you in the next video which i'll be creating more different types of mcu as well okay bye